A black title card with white words stating butterfly migration comes onto screen as Ami's indigenous people's traditional melody plays. The scene transitions into Z as butterfly with long, dark brown hair, a yellow dress, and barefoot. Butterfly dances vastly, mournfully, and curiously next to a forest in Golden Gate Park during the day. Hey, I am lost and looking for my plant friend. Have you seen them? We had been living together on the mountain for a long time. But too many humans came. They changed the mountain, so we had to leave. Even so, I miss being with the humans on the mountain. Butterfly hugs her chest. Text states, 20 years in the future. The following scene is in dark gray light. We see a close-up of Z as an adult wearing a black dress and tan cardigan. She looks lovingly and holds out a surgical mask. In Mandarin. Honey, Honey don't, don't forget to wear your off. mask. Ishita as child wears her hair in two braids a light orange short sleeve shirt with the monkey on it, and a gray romper as she sits on a log. She looks upset and throws down some grass she is picking in protest. I don't like the mask. You and Grandpa don't either. Grandpa never wears the mask. Close up on Z, looking kind but firm, before looking up at the sky. That is because when Grandpa grew up, the environment was very nice. I also remember being on the end of town mountain as a kid and not having to wear a mask. But later, when I went to San Francisco for graduate school, I had to wear a mask because of the pandemic and the wildfires. Look at the sky. It is not blue anymore. The air quality has gotten so bad. Close up on child, looking up at the sky and upset and confused, gesturing angrily. What makes the air quality become so bad? Who makes the air quality become so bad? We should punish them. Close up on Z looking serious. I know. But everyone in this world has some responsibilities for this. When we enjoy the convenient life, we sacrifice our freedom to live in the world. Close up on child looking guilty then angry, slamming her hands. You mean I did something bad too? No, I didn't do anything. It's not my fault. Wide shot of Z on right and child on left in a field, around 10 feet from each other. Z gestures calmly. It's not your fault. But sometimes we have to help out when we do not want to. When I was a kid, Grandpa had me plant the plant. Close up on Z looking sincere. To bring back the butterfly to the mountain. Grandpa wanted me to experience the butterfly. He, he hoped that I could have a similar childhood like he did on the mountain. The butterfly come back. Close up on child, looking curiously hopeful, then sad. I may y'all. Close up on Z, looking matter of factly. But I'm glad that Grandpa and I tried. Wide shot of Z and child. Z folds her arms together before holding her hands to say please. Honey, Honey, I, I love, love you. you. I want you to be healthy. Can you promise me to always try? Z holds out the mask to child who waits a moment before reaching out for fade to black. A black title card states in white letters, Miss Blossom. Miss Blossom has a forest green shirt and a light gray hoodie on and wears her hair up in a bun while she rests her head on a green pillow. She exhales a puff of smoke from her e-cigarette. Behind her is a wooden wall. She waves her e-cigarette and looks defeated. Oh, hi. Can I help you? What do you want? She becomes defensive. I don't do that anymore. Why? I just don't, okay? She sits up, toying with the e-cigarette, looking both agitated and guilty. 
Oh, no, I don't want to talk about what happened with Herman and Twyla. Right, I may have been thinking about it and maybe I should have listened to what they were saying. She sits up even more, looking defensive and desperate. But I want to be positive and hopeful about this whole thing. I mean, I care about my students and the planet and we're running out of time. She puts her hand to her forehead in overwhelm. She closes her eyes, becoming reflective and guilty. Herman and Twyla are right. I've been erasing so many people's history and suffering, and I keep doing that when I boil tackling the climate crisis down full steps. I've been such a fool. I really wanted to help. I, I did, but it's all so much bigger than my experience. Her face softens with the realization she needs to apologize. I'm not sure where to go from here, but the first thing is probably apologizing. The scene fades to black. Screen goes from blackout to reveal Trickster, wearing a red ruffled tuxedo shirt, a black vest, holding their top hat on their knee, sitting in a beige armchair. They hold a notepad in their other hand. They look sullen. Hello, everyone. I hope you are enjoying the show. I'm afraid I owe you an apology. The way I left you last was disgraceful. They lean forward, waving their arms, and lean back. I'm, I'm so careful with the humans because I just hate it when they shut me out. I've tried to get through to them, but they always run from the truth. Believe it or not, I used to be part of some human, but they became obsessed with the person suit of civilization and empire these light-skinned ones in the north they threw themselves out of sync with the earth they hardly noticed the emptiness of their bellies this part of themselves warm rich earthy me at my best they cast out and from emptiness came confusion denial a spiraling, contagious sense of shame for self and other. Some of them started to suspect that not all was right with themselves. Trickster gestures to themselves. They become reminiscent. But without me to guide them into the wisdoms of the forests, the sanctuaries of the deserts, the joys of the rivers, they wandered sullen misunderstanding their pain as motivation to continue bending nature to their will, destroying their kin and ultimately themselves. Trashy Trash Collector appears on a screen next to Trickster's screen while Trickster stares into the distance. Trickster sees TTC and takes a deep breath in. Oh, welcome. They forgot all feelings of belonging. They traded it all in for the comforts of entitlement. The feeling of it, the lie of it, they fed on it. I still long to return home to the humans who had rejected me. I started by planting myself in seeds dropping myself into wells, then welding myself into their weapons. But I always became unstuck, separate from the elements of my natural state. They had built a wall around them, incapable of facing the lie of this superiority, in willing, unwilling to imagine the truth of their wild belonging. Trickster laughs as if at a joke and leans forward, then back into the chair while TTC gives an understanding smile. So 
I said, no, <laughs> why not try the arts? <laughs> Maybe this time they'll listen. Hence me applying to host this show. Trickster fidgets with buttons on their shirt. Here I am. Here we are. But I'm not hosting this show anymore. Trickster taps their top hat with their fingers. All I really want is to be whole again. Trickster has a look of longing, and TTC smiles in sad agreement. All I really want is to go home. Me too. Trickster and mm. TTC both nod their heads in understanding. Fade to black. A black title card with white letters appears on screen. It reads, A Final Therapy Session with children. As that fades away, four viewing windows appear on screen. Z, as therapist, has a ponytail and is wearing a dark green scarf and a black blazer. Adrian, as a child named Gracie, is wearing a blue and white striped shirt with her hair in pigtails. Faith, as Sarah, is wearing glasses with a ponytail parted to the left side of the viewing window and wireless in-ear headphones. William as Max is very close up to the camera so that you can see only the top of his nose, his eyes, and the top of his head. They each wave at each other as a greeting. Welcome everyone! Max has a concerned look on his face as he gently scratches the side of his head in curiosity. Miss Therapist Lady, did you have pandemics when you were my age? This leans into the camera with a concerned look. Did we have pandemics? Yeah. Gracie inquires with a concerned and curious look. Yeah. What was it like when you had your pandemic? I didn't actually experience a global pandemic when I was your age. All three children now have confused and concerned looks on their faces. Therapist smiles and lets out a sigh. She seems unsure how to move forward with this line of inquiry. This is my first one too. But why do we have one? That's a really good question. I love all of your questions today. You all are very curious. Well, I thought that everyone had a pandemic until now. I thought it was like you have your pandemic and then you Go through puberty or something. When is the time it's going to be over? Sets her computer down so the viewing window is wider. I don't know when it will be over. I wish I had the answer. Ishita as Frankie appears on screen. Frankie is wearing a blue sweater and pigtails. Simultaneously, Angus appears as Felicia. Felicia has a side ponytail and is wearing pajamas and a green mask that covers their mouth and nose. Welcome! I don't I'm want to go here now. Hi, I don't want to go to school online anymore. Let's go mm. school and build it. Oh, yeah, build it with our masks on. Yes. Yeah. Gracie smiles and throws her arms up in the air and crosses them above her head. All of the children smile in awe at Gracie's suggestion. Ah, I want to dream and I want to build our own school. Wow, that's a beautiful dream for you to build your own school. I am so inspired by you all today. Therapist leans in with a smile and candidly poses a question to the children, waving both her hands in front of the screen in slow motion. So, I want to know, what's your dream for the future? I mean, your biggest, widest dream for the future. Sarah comes closer to the screen to recite her line as the rest of the group nods and smiles in awe. 
oh, my dream is I'm going to become a scientist and I'm going to build a big net. It's going to go into the ocean and it's going to take up all the trash and it won't take up any of the animals. And then they'll all be so happy because they won't be choking on plastic anymore. Yeah. Gracie puts her hands on her head and looks up in awe of her own dream. The rest of the group also smiles and nods in reaction. I'm, 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 my dream is I want all the trees to keep growing and I want to live in the forest and make sure that nobody does any big cutting down of trees and all the animals can live in harmony and nobody goes extinct. Max's eyebrows are raised as he points his index finger in the air and then at himself. Oh yeah, th that's my dream. Nobody extinct. Felicia raises their hand and looks wide-eyed into the camera. The group raises their eyebrows, smiles, and laughs in awe of Felicia's dream. My dream is um, I want to be a hero. <laughs> like, I will live in the forest and I will protect for all of us. And if someone just come, I will get out of here, lasers! My home! Pew pew! Frankie looks directly into the camera with wide eyes as they describe their dream. My, my dream is my mommy told me that it used to be really green when she was a kid. Like they would go on a hill and just run off into the wide. And my, my dream is to go there. Therapist leans forward with a soft and tender smile as they recite their lines. Children smile and nod. Oh, you all are such beautiful beings. You know, this has been a very inspiring therapy section for me. Max poses his question with raised eyebrows so as to communicate curiosity. What's your dream, Miss Therapist Lady? Therapist smiles, sits back, and looks up as if they are going to respond to Max's question as the scene fades to black. Well, my dream... A black title card with white letters appears on screen. It shows too much CO2 on seat. The scene is presented as a YouTube video. The title of the video is We Are What We Eat. William Aspen shows up in the video, wears a dark blue t-shirt and brown pants. Ben holds his cat. Ben stands in front of the white wall with white broad, containing fats of food. Good evening. Tonight, we'll be focusing on food systems, seed biodiversity, and food justice. Did you know that 75% of... Picture shows up with the words about food systems and the painting of green trees, a blue car, and houses. Global food biodiversity has become extinct in the past 100 years alone. Localized indigenous methods of food production have been suppressed by globalized supply chains dominated by transnational companies. Things cut back to Ben with his cat looking down. Ben lets his cat leave. This has caused massive habitat destruction. Oh, what's down? Run free. Where was I? Uh, yes, this has caused massive habitat destruction and forced billions of humans to submit to an exploitative system of neoliberal globalization. I don't. While Ben speaks excitedly, his cell phone rings. Ben takes the phone out of his pocket, and he talks with his friend carefully with a smile. Wow, uh, I'm, I'm sorry everybody, I, I think I should answer this. Hey Ben, haven't seen you in a while. We miss you at the community garden. Your veggies miss you too. Well, yeah, the, 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 the pandemic. I... I've sort of been in a, another world. Well, I'm just saying, I know that's where you're at your happiest. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I should. I should come by. Ben puts back his phone and talks to the camera. He looks with a sense of release. 
I'm gonna go. Um, but before I do, I, I'd like to try this in a different way. Hi, I'm Ben. I like to garden, visit the beach, smell the ocean. I am a human being. I am. I like the internet too. Sometimes it takes too much of me. I do these vlogs for you, and I think they're important, but honestly, sometimes after them, I just feel filled with despair and anxiety. And lonely too. I'll leave it there for today. Cut to black.